Hello Internet and welcome to another Friday vlog. I'm Dwayne and uh, today I was going to share a, a quote with you and my, my ideas about that quote but uh, fate had a different idea for me and I just had to share what happened this morning. Something very strange. Uh, I have lived in the same house for 17 years with uh, my wife Corey and in those 17 years, uh, we've had lots of weird things happen in our house, but this morning, something really, really weird happened. Um, I was sitting in my office, which is in our basement, uh, and it's a very small room, and by necessity, uh, I have to sit facing away from the door. Uh, there's just no room for my desk in any other way. Um, and as I was sitting there at about 8 o'clock this morning, I heard a wrestling sound behind me, kind of like somebody crinkling paper or something like that. And I knew that I was alone in the house. Uh, I knew that there wasn't anybody else there. Corey was out at an, at an exercise class. The kids were at school. And uh, so there shouldn't have been that noise in the house, especially that close behind me. And I looked down the hallway, which is right outside my door, and uh, I didn't see anything, which was really weird because it sounded like it was something really close. And uh, I sat there listening, and then after about another 20 seconds or so, I heard it again. And it was really close this time. And, and I looked out, and I didn't see anything. And I was just about to stand up to go and investigate what was happening. And a bird flew over my shoulder, a little uh, house sparrow or something like that. And uh, like I said, I've lived in this house for 17 years. Not once has there been a bird in my house. And, uh, and I found this quite odd. And uh, and so I chased this little bird around. I dumped my garbage can out on the floor so that I had a container to catch it in. And uh, it led me on a really good chase. It took me about half an hour to, to eventually capture it. And uh, and it was really terrified of, of me and of the garbage can that I was trying to capture it in and uh, of its whole situation. And eventually I did get it outside safely. I have a little video, uh, which I will include at the end of this. It's a very short clip. Um, but uh, after I had gotten the bird safely outside, I got thinking about uh, what this, this experience kind of meant. Uh, I think that there's always a meaning in everything that happens. So I wanted to, to think about um, what this particular incident was all about. And it got me thinking about freedom and how... A lot of the time we convince ourselves that we, we don't have freedom, that we don't have choices or options or uh, the capacity to, to make our lives different. We feel like we're really stuck where we're at and that uh, there's nothing we can do about that. And uh, I've heard that kind of comments from ex-co-workers and friends and, and family and myself too on occasion. And, uh, and it, it's really not the truth. It's not, um, we're not stuck where we're at. We always have options. And with that little bird, it doesn't have the capacity to, to sit and contemplate, how did I get here and how can I get out of this place? And, uh, and is there a way that somebody can help me? And uh, if you put it in that context, had the bird been able to reason, it could have sat down and thought about, well, how did I get into this house? And I imagine it was probably through the chimney. And had it just flown back up the chimney, it would have been outside, it would have been fine. But birds don't have that capacity. And so um, it also saw me as a threat, even though I was trying to help it. And I think we do that a lot too. I know that I personally do. Uh, I've talked about that before, having difficulty asking for help and accepting help. And, uh, and how... Um, how freeing it is when you actually let that help happen. And really, the bird, having no uh, capacity to reason, had it just let me capture it and take it outside, it would have been out a lot faster with a lot less stress. But birds can't do that. Uh, and in our own lives, uh, we do have that capacity to just sit and think, well, how did I get here, and how can I get out of here? Um, I used to work with a lot of people that, uh, that had kind of that mentality. And when I left there, I left for, uh, for reasons of just wanting to spend some time with my family and also having some things going on there that I didn't really appreciate and like. And, uh, a lot of the people after I left, I asked them, well, why don't you do the same? Because they were complaining. And, uh, and they said, well, I can't because of this, this, and this. And the reasons that they gave usually were not real reasons. They were, they were just reasons not to try. 
And uh, I know that, that that might sound kind of harsh, but it's it's really the truth. And I've fallen victim to that as well. And it's the, the truth for jobs. It's the truth for relationships. It's the truth for everything. We always have options that we can use to, uh, to change our situation and, and to make things more the way we want to. And so I just wanted to, to share that with you, my really weird experience with this little bird. And uh, encourage you to think about your situation. And if you're struggling with something, if you're, uh, if you're feeling stuck in a situation, you've got options. All you have to do is look for them. And it might be as easy as uh, talking to somebody who's offering to help. It might be as easy as uh, having a little faith that things will work out. You never know. But uh, do that, and I'm sure that you can change your situation to become something that, uh, that you really want it to be or to improve the situation that you're already in, if you if you already like where you're at. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I'll put the little clip of this bird on the end of this video. I'll see you in the next video. Watch for the next vlog on Friday. Tuesdays, I put out my Walk to Remember series on postpartum depression and my family's journey through it. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. That's something I get to do every day. There you go.